ओके एवरी वन टूडे विल बी स्टडी अबउट हाउ टू ड्रा द ट्रांसफर लेवल डायग्राम फॉर ए सीमोस नॉर्गेट एंड सीमोस ऑर्गेट सीमोस नॉर्गेट फर्स्ट विल ड्रा फॉर द सीमोस नॉर्गेट एंड लेटर विल ड्रा द ट्रांसफर लेवल डायग्राम फॉर द सीमोस ऑर्गेट ऑर्गेट सो सी एन ओ इफ इट इज एन ऑर ऑपरेशन इफ इट इज एन ऑर ऑपरेशन इट मीन्स दैट इट इट इंडिकेट्स द it indicates the plus operation it indicates the plus operation plus operation so we are trying to deal uh, with the plus operation when when you are trying to draw the cmos nor gate always keep in your mind if it is a plus operation if it is a plus operation that diagrammatic representation or schematic representation of uh, nor or or with the plus uh, plus operation into the transistor level will be done in this way the pmos should be always in series pmos should be always in series and later nmos should be in parallel nmos should be in parallel this is a fundamental connectional point uh, for the uh, drawing uh, any of this uh, uh, this one uh, pmos uh, and nmos with respect to the nor gate so first uh, since we are trying to draw the two input nor gate two input uh, nor gate we are trying to draw the two input nor gate so if it is two input means we need the two pmos and two nmos it depends upon the number of inputs if you are trying to draw for the three input uh, gate it will be three pmos and three nmos if it's a two input gate means it will be two pmos and two nmos since it's my two input over here i'll first take two pmos this is my first pmos for the first input a first input a then that pmos has to be connected in series with the second one so this is my second pmos for the input b i'll name it as p1 for the p1 pmos 1 p2 for the pmos 2 and the first pmos should be always connected to the vdd power supply and then that should be connected in series to the second pmos now you have connect, com, completed the uh, connection of the pmos and look at this one nmos should be connected in series uh, parallel it is given so therefore first i'll draw here one nmos which which has to be drawn in parallel with the another nmos to complete this setup so it is nmos nmos so this will be first nmos and this is second nmos second nmos and the nmos shorted uh, drain terminal of nmos uh, this one shorted gate terminal of nmos should be connected to always to the ground terminal i hope you all know this one this is source drain of pmos this is source and drain of pmos the same way here this is drain of pn1 source of n1 this is drain of n2 and source of n2 and now here how to make a uh, way, way to obtain the outputs this is a uh, input a input b what does it mean the input a should be connected to the a of the nmos so this becomes one of my input the similar way input b has to be connected to the b of the nmos so this becomes my another input b so this is my uh, circuit we have completed the connection of n uh, inputs of uh, nor gate now see for the output where the output has to be obtained output should be always obtained at the shorted drain of this p p block this complete p block and again complete n block your output should be always be obtained at the shorted drain of the p block and n block so in between this one if you uh, connect this drain of uh, p2 and drain of uh, the shorted drain of uh, n1 and n2 there comes your output that is v out so this will be your uh, diagram for the schematic diagram in transistor level uh, manner for the uh, cmos nor gate then what about the or gate we know that cmos nor is nothing else but it's a not of the or gate therefore not is nothing else but sir it represents a inverter so if you make one inverter over here cmos inverter uh, that is a one pmos connected in series with the uh, another n mos or n was now this is ground ground terminal this will be the final output output dash v dash and this this should be connected to the here as a input for the pmos so now this becomes your 
this part up to here up to here it is a c mos nor schematic structure and the com complete thing is a cmos or structure so this is how you are supposed to draw the schematic level diagram of a cmos nor gate and cmos or gate i hope you understood the conversion of a gate level lo logic to the transistor level logic thank you